just take the opportunity to explain a little bit of the um, ideas behind the music box. If we talk about the beginning of this, uh, it would be, uh, it would be uh, Gunnar Jansson, mm -hmm. who's, uh, who was working in the 1970s on quite seminal work on, on, uh, on motion perception, on how we perceive motion. Uh, and he, his way of exploring that was to reduce it to just a few dots. His idea was that we could, um, he wanted to prove that we could discern an awful lot from just very, very um, minimal human, human motion, in fact. Um, and so what he did is he put these dots on people's, on people's bodies, uh, 13 dots, just points of light, and then filmed them in the dark. I think that's a photo. Maybe, maybe it's only because I know it so well. Oh, I thought it could be a frog yeah, yeah, hopping yeah, along. Yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, that frog hopping along becomes a leg once, uh -huh. it's, once it's got the two other dots there. And what gives it away, I think, is the inconsistency. It's just never quite exactly the same. Mm. Whereas if it's mechanical, yeah. then it's yeah. always the same. So biological motion is a kind of softness, doesn't it? Which, mm. is, which mechanical motion doesn't have. Maybe they're two women. Or is no, they're... that's definitely a man. And but I think it's definitely a woman. Yeah, it? we see that's just us. Maybe mm. we're just like making assumptions. <laughs> and we work with a, with, a, with a 3D graphic artist called Levin. Toshavili. We worked with uh, the Cork Youth Orchestra and Thomas uh, arranged the music essentially he, uh, and invited four of his, uh, his very best uh, uh, musicians from the 150 uh, uh, musicians that he works with on, in the Cork Youth Orchestra to, uh, to create a quartet. You look, what you're looking at here is the first violinist on the left, second violinist uh, uh, beside him, uh, the, the viola player beside her, and then on the right, uh, the cello player, who's mm -hmm. the only one who's sitting down. Killian, Isabel, Sinead, and Harry. So should we look at them, some of these movements in more detail? Yeah, the, the first piece, which is kind of the four figures together, is quite clear. Mm -hmm. And then the other pieces challenge you uh, to sort of like uh -huh. get involved in much more. Yeah. Like in, in the third piece, we have, uh, we have um, we have just the hands. So you've got the left hand of the three fiddlers of the of the two violin players and the viola player. So which piece do we have here? Do you know? So this is the first violinist, Killian. Mm. Okay. Uh, and this is Killian's forearms, uh, elbows, and his and, and uh -huh. his uh, and one of the fingers on his hand. Uh, uh -huh. I think it might be the, it's the amazing index finger. the abstractness of it, but you yeah. you still yeah. know that it's yeah. human. Yeah. yeah. Human yeah. motion. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's Isabel, yeah. yeah. Isabel, and she's yeah. wearing, so she's got on her forehead, she's got a sensor. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got them on her, her hands, on her wrists. On her and upper her, arms, and she's mm -hmm. got another that you can't really see, which is, which is uh, her torso. Mm -hmm. There's three or four her, different sensors. Uh, her waist. Uh, and then she's got mm -hmm. gloves on, which okay. take the movement of her fingers. And Not so all of her fingers. While she performs the piece, she's listening yeah. to the piece. Uh, that they pre-recorded mm, to so make that sure that she's properly synced with, yeah. the, with the original. Uh -huh. yeah. And so each, every one of her motion, her movements is being tracked in, in space. Like the, the coordinate of that that sensor in space is being tracked mm. uh, and fed into the computer. So we have all that that information. Yeah. yeah. A long time ago, that we would that, that it would be about the outside. It would be about uh, uh, using the windows of the pavilion to address the outside. Uh, we hadn't realised at the time that it was going to be really very, 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 very cold. Mm. But uh, also, it was because of the pandemic. Yeah. Nobody could go indoors at the yeah, time, and we didn't it. know how long that was going to last. It was a pandemic decision. Yeah, yeah. But nevertheless, it was also it you know it was also well, kind of something mystery. that mystery. Yeah, I love yeah, I love yeah, the mystery yeah. of this. And you can go inside the pavilion, and you can you can perceive it from inside. But it is actually really conceived to be something uh, seen from outside. I mean, we did joke about this. You know, you know all all the, the processes the, uh, we, we had to go through and all the technologies and, uh, and, the, uh, and the craft of the musicians uh, and, the, uh, and the direction of mm. Tomas and the, 
and the production of, uh, of sample studios and the architecture of the pavilion, uh, all for the sake of really a very, very minimalist uh, 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 work. That's all about just a few moving dots, really. Yeah, that's uh, art, uh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's art, isn't it? Yeah, that's mm -hmm.